Hey YouTube, El Gringo Cumbarba coming from Maryville, Tennessee. Uh, tonight I'm smoking my Stanwell uh, Black Brushed Dublin Bent, I guess full bent. Uh, Boswell's best in here. I uh, went through my cabinet. I was keep telling myself I'm going to smoke something different, and I keep going back to this. Has to be my favorite because I also smoked this at lunchtime today when I was sitting at the park and our unseasonably warm temperatures we're having here in East Tennessee. But <clears throat> anyways, I uh, hadn't done a video in a week or so, so I wanted to do a quick video. I tried this week to get a tobacco that I see on all kinds of forums and all the different videos. I tried to get some, sounds like my washing machine is going to come through the wall here. I guess it's shaking out. Anyways, I tried to get some uh, tobacco that I had seen on different forums and different um, videos and different people said that it was a really, really good blend to smoke. I'm okay with aromatics. Uh, some of them are very, very sweet, so I don't really lean to those. In fact, I've got jars of stuff that I would probably give away. Um, I try and only order it like an ounce or two at a time, but there's still stuff packed at one time in a pipe. Didn't even make it halfway through the pipe, and I know I'm not gonna get back to smoking it. So, anyways, I'm branching out, looking for different things uh, to smoke. I already know I don't like the really, really smoky through the wall really really smoky like english tobaccos um i've tried some of those northwoods from boswell's i tried i just cannot i i can't get to it there so maybe i'm just not a connoisseur yet so anyways um i did see samuel gawith gawith um the full virginia flake i was so excited about trying to get this i talked to a guy on a forum on facebook talked about he said that was one of his favorite ones. I know Jason Dagner smokes it. There's quite a few people that say that that's a good go-to tobacco. Nothing really, no no flavors added to it, just straight tobacco. Problem was, I went to my cigar shop slash pipe shop, maybe that's part of the problem, and I had seen it in there every single time I'd went in and just kind of looked at all their cigars and different things, bought my cheap pipe, but I'd seen it every single time. I go back and damn it, wouldn't you believe they didn't have it. And of course the guy gives me the, well, I could have it here in a little bit and probably by next week and I have to put a $500 order. I don't really give a shit about that. My fact, the fact of the matter is if you're going to run a business and you're going to have stuff to sell, have it on the shelf. If not, my dad always said either shit or get off the pot. So maybe that's a rant. Maybe that's a rave. But my thing is, it I can't buy it if it's not there. My grandfather said a long time ago, you can't be a sh uh, open a shoe shop if you don't have shoes to sell. So pretty much this guy is more concerned about cigars. That's cool. That's his business. But he just kind of slaps at the pipe stuff. So apparently I'm going to have to get online, uh, which is not a problem because I've ordered before. But um, I'm going to have to get on pipesandcigars.com and order me some. Uh, here's Jake the Wonder Dog. <clears throat> Say hello, Jake. Say hello to YouTube. <gasps> He's a big boy. He's a big boy. This is my trusty companion, Jake. Anyways, so that's my rant and rave. So hopefully the next video I have, you will see me with some full Virginia Flake in hand. Um, I will actually probably uh, rub the tobacco out load the pipe, and try it for the first time. So maybe I'll do like a mini review on it. Anyways, uh, until then, this is El Gringo Cumbarba saying stay smoky.